All right, so um, kata, uh, it's, it's our syllabus downloaded from all the masters, um, and it contains a whole set of things. And I'd like to think of kata like this. So as you can see over here, I've got a container of materials, right? And there's a whole bunch of different things for different purposes. So a ruler, right? We've got a marker, We've got some scissors, right? And I, I, I like to, and so every, everybody that uses these things use them in different ways. Um, there's so many ways to cut, right? And there's so many ways to use, use a marker. And you know how it is, everybody's got their own style and developed their own style in using these tools. Similarly with kata. All right, so as I was saying before, kata is a set of tools and I highly recommend not to practice it in, in the sequence. Take it apart, give it a test ride and open it up. Um, and really there's no real way to, to, there's no real right way. The right way is subjective to you and it depends on whether you can pull it off and make it work based on your body mechanics, your learning style, your level of fitness, and just the way you react to, to violence, okay? And, and so the set that I wanna show you, just like the set of, 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 of writing tools I had before, here's the set. So it starts off like this. Then the opening move is like this. Next one's like this. Down, you look, you put your hand here, go like that, here, 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 and here. So once again, it looks like this. Here, that's the move. Now, a problem for me, personally, is people do these techniques in sequence. The way I'm suggesting, and it's just totally from my experience, is you take it out and express it and open it up, take it for a test drive, put it into your sparring, mix it all up, Put on some equipment and make it happen. Now, I'm going to invite a friend of mine to demonstrate, and we're not going to do a live. I'm just going to show you a demonstration of some of the options that you can use this for. So I can introduce uh, Spencer, okay? And uh, he's just going to give me some reference points. So put your hands up, okay? So the hands are up. Now, the opening move in the form is to step out. You're stepping out, you're bringing your hand in, you're down. I'm suggesting to use that stepping motion, but open it up and stretch out the angles a bit. So that stepping motion for me is gonna look like this. I wanna get out the threat. So he's gonna attack me with anything. I, I'm stepping out of the way here. I'm using the same body mechanics, and the, the form says to bring your knee up, so I'm bringing it up, and I'm throwing that in. So it's kinda like this. His hands are up, I'm stepping out of the way, and I'm throwing that in. Really easy, I'm angling off. And that's what I'm getting from the cut. Now, close quarter tools. So if you can come a little closer, okay? Now, say I'm in, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in some sort of situation here, okay? And I wanna get inside. The kata, the opening move is like this, okay? I'm using this as a break in. So I'm breaking in, I'm kinda of getting the hands out of the way, and I use any way to do that. And I'm here in clinch range now, and I've, the hand technique is like this. So I'm using this to secure the neck and then the technique is an elbow smash, here, okay? But now, in a real fight, he's not gonna let me do that. So he might protect himself and check it. So if he checks it, maybe, maybe not, the form gives you a technique to clear. So I use this technique as a clearance technique where I'm clearing and I'm grabbing. And again, there's a hikite involved, a short hikite where I'm pulling him in here, okay? And I'm smashing this way. So there's a technique like this, and the way I'm interpreting that is bam, from here, and I can clear the, clear the hand. If there's a hand there, I'll clear it. If there's no hand there, I'll clear the, the head. And then I smash it down this way. That's one option. So those are some options with the hands. Uh, I'm gonna, and we, we saw a little bit of the legs, and now I'm gonna tell you how we can use the, the legs at a closer range. So once again, what I'm trying to say is, you gotta take these techniques out of the container and give it a test run under various conditions. And these conditions I'm demonstrating, once again, as a disclaimer, it is clean. It's basically a demonstration. You're gonna have to take it back to your dojo and your training space. Guys, and seriously, give it a test run. Try, isolate one particular thing, put on some equipment, and try to get the other guy to stop you from doing it. And you'll find all these other options as you'll come out. Um, and guys, seriously, there's nothing secret in what we're doing. If you take a look at all kinds of fight venues, like boxing, MMA, Muay Thai, Savat, uh, uh, shoot wrestling, all these things, they're using the same kind of biomechanic, biomechanical principles 
uh, you know, similar in kata. So anyway, so we're gonna do another example, right? If we can focus on the legs, okay? So this motion here, where we're stepping, I like to use it as an interception, where I'm coming in, and I'm smashing this, okay? I put the leg down, now depending on his reaction, I'm not hitting him hard, but if I were to, boom, and let's just say this leg buckles a bit, okay, then I put the leg down, and I, I wanna make sure that he's gonna go down, so then my next move is to come in and smash that, right? Now, if he does do that, then I can take the next move here and bring that up and hit that leg, and then he's gonna collapse and go down, and I just finish whatever I wanna do from there, right? That's one idea. All right, so another, another way of taking the, the tool and taking it outside of context is uh, very, very common, you guys have seen this before, I'm sure, is a kick jam, kick stop, or a kick redirection. Uh, and, and basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking this idea here. So I'm doing this, but from a frontal perspective, where I'm doing this. Okay, so for example, uh, if he does a kick, the leg comes up and I redirect it. Okay, and you see this in all kinds of styles. So he does it again, Bam, and then I just intercept and I do that kick in there. I might not get that second piece. It might just look like this, where he kicks. Boom, and I just stop it. That's okay. I'm using this in center line to jab. That's all I wanted to show. Thanks, guys.